Lumini Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Farming Simulator 22 and this is a mod for all platforms PC, Mac and console. I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl with this. This is the JCBTM 420S by Ross N Mods 20.65 megabytes to download and it is 13 slots. Yes, only 13 slots on console. So very slot friendly, very console friendly. At first, when I seen this, I thought, oh, it's a uh, wheel loader. But alas, it is not a wheel loader. It is, in fact, a very large telehandler. A very nice large telehandler, as a matter of fact. And we'll find them, or find it, under telehandlers. And here it is, a whopping 10.5. Well, it's not by weight, although the Schaefer is heavier. However, we're looking at this one. So it's 173 horsepower, power shift transmission, 160 liters of fuel at 31 miles per hour, which is very fast for a telehandler, actually. 10.5 uh, tons, and as I said, seven, uh, 13 slots. So let's have a look. We have wheel brands of Michelin, Trelleberg, Midas, BKT, Vertistein, Nokian, and Michelin. Back to Michelin. So in Michelin, we have this nice, very nice looking tread. And we have a wide twins, twins all around. Very nice indeed. And then back to standard. So the tread changes when it goes to the uh, large and then twins. Trelleberg, we also have wide twins, twins all around. Midas is as is, BKT is as is, Vertistein as is, and Nokian is as is. So, um, I do like this. I wish this would have come in the twin uh, tread. I do like that tread. However, it doesn't really make that much of a difference, I don't think, with the handling or such. Design, standard attacher or Q JCB Q fit. Now it doesn't matter which one you have, they will both work for all telehandler attachments. It's just a design uh, a aesthetic or a visual, whichever you like. Uh, main color, we have a all of the main colors available to us on the Giants color palette. You can go purple or you can go John Deere if you like. Uh, rim color, again, every color, including a few custom colors. Uh, the matte gray, matte black, chrome. And then we get into the uh, Giants colors, which will cost you a thousand bucks, but no charge for chrome, black, or gray, right? And if we go into the main colors, that is also true for the yellow. You don't get charged, but any other color, you will, right? And then the license plates. So, uh, the only thing that's going to cost you more money is the wheels or color if you choose a color outside the box, as it were. $119,000. Not too bad for a, um, a very nice telehandler. Now, it's not going to have the longest reach, but we'll hop in, shall we? Interior. Very nice. Start it up. Nice. The key. The, did you see that? The key. Watch on the dashboard there. Key turns when it starts. Very nice. We have uh, shift lever. Let's see about signals. Yeah, we have an indicator on the dashboard of a signal. If we go outside, we see signals. Right signal, left signal. Signals on the bottom and oh yes, did I? Did I didn't did I not show oh yes I didn't go through the beacons wow that's odd uh, beacons we have no beacon a low beacon standard uh, high beacon or a light bar which I have installed how did I miss that hmm okay right beacons we have the light bar beacon, which I do like. It's very neat and very bright. And it does add these signals, as we can see here. Lights, very well uh, lit. 
Now, um, yes, oh, other options. L1 and right stick left and right. Uh, that's your adjustment for your telehandler. R, uh, R1 and uh, up and down extend out that telehandler part. So you can see that's as far out as it goes. So it does afford quite a nice reach for such a large piece of equipment. Now, of course, any telehandler um, attachment will fit on these. And if you, uh, and I do believe there probably is a adapter, um, perhaps in the CSZ pack, maybe to uh, be able to use a uh, front loader uh, attachments. I'm not sure about that exactly. I'd have to look it up. Um, some of you would know that. Right. Um, oh, yes. And L1 and R1 right stick opens and closes that uh, the left door and up and down. Oh, L1 and R1 left stick the right door. So left stick, right door, right stick, left door. <laughs> That is, of course, oriented this way. That's the left door with the right stick, and the left stick is the right door. That's a little bit odd, but that's the way it is. All right, so let's uh, just pull forward and attach. I have a manure fork here. However, uh, let's retract that. Handling is nice. It's, it's pretty nice, and let's pick up this Uh, silage bale. Oh, let's pick it up maybe a little bit better than that. There we go. And so no problem, as you can see, no problem handling a silage bale. The uh, dual wheels do help with stability, as you can see. So very nice. Let's just see... Uh, Let's just see if we can sell it. There we go. Uh, also, I did manage to pick up this uh, cotton bale here, this very large square cotton bale, and bring it over here. And it's just, as you can see, it is, uh, and it, uh, as you can see, there's some some uh, very nice twist to the body of this of this telehandler. While it's struggling to, uh, it is on the very verge of being too heavy. However, it is I do you can't. It is managing to handle it, as you can see. So uh, probably with uh, oh let's uh, let's just. Uh, open this there we go and drop that off we're gonna sell that oh I won't sell there hmm <laughs> right so that is um, that is a little bit about what it can do so now you notice there is a uh, let's turn on signal on off right so as you can see there is a hitch on the back of this so what I've done here is I've purchased a couple of trailers. Ball hitch trailer first is a no. And I would expect the pin hitch, yes. So the pin hitch does attach, very nice. Uh, there is also, if you do want to add extra weight, there is a weight available. Uh, especially for telehandlers to attach so it's a separate mod I'll try and find it I'll tag the uh, information in the description if I remember right now uh, let's just hop into this one this is the basic one without any options it is pretty much the same except of course as you can see no dual wheels or um, light bar but it is essentially the same I have a bucket on there and we have some rocks. A rock filled bucket, uh, 2,651 liters. Uh, if we uh, 
Uh, let's see if we can extend that out. We'll see how well it... Oh, it's a little bit too much. <laughs> the rocks are a bit too much for it when it's extended. But as you can see, it still handles the weight pretty good. Uh, yeah, rocks are really heavy. That's why I use them. However, as you can see how it kind of twists and turns a little bit with the weight on there. I kind of really like that. It does show some real dynamic weight transfer and so forth with a heavy load. Kind of really neat. Uh, so we're just going to dump this off here. Sorry about the camera angles. It's acting a little weird today. So let's just uh, drop that off and let's go for a bit of a spin to show you the acceleration and the speed. It takes a little bit to get up to speed. Uh, it um, So it is kind of a manual transmission as you can see here. Let's try and turn to see if it... Oh yes, it does go over. <laughs> but you can write it pretty easily. Uh, with these um, articulating type so it does tend to tip over a bit let's uh, let's try it with the dual wheels see if that gives it any extra stability with the uh, I would imagine it would give it more stability at uh, this one oh this one got up to speed really fast and oh it still tips over it's kind of like a weeble though it came, got right back up on its right back up on its feet so that's neat right and um, there you have it a really nice new addition to telehandlers nice big telehandler handles would be able to handle quite a bit of weight and with that speed um, you can tow around a nice big trailer uh, perhaps uh, for gathering product and so forth around the farmyard or if you have a big cattle operation or something that you're uh, transporting a lot of mm, things like that it would be really and the color options are nice I've decked it out with pink and green here but of course you can pick any color you want and there you go that's the JCB TM 420 S by Ross and mods very nice 20.65 megabytes to download and 13 slots on console. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.